Just thought it would be a great opportunity for our family to come out and do some Sunday worship while ours was closed. As people practice social distancing, churches, restaurants, and even businesses, they are being urged to close their doors. But Sarah Hammond shows us how one Macon church got really creative on this Sunday. Sunday morning looked a little different at Piedmont Church. Since they can't worship inside, they decided to have a drive-in service. Hey, with all of the craziness in our world, what we wanted to do is obviously we wanted to stay within our government's requests and try to keep the, the gatherings low. There was live music played on a makeshift stage and lead pastor Chris Barbie led a sermon. The congregation listened from the safety of their cars. We took the idea of the drive-in movie and said, well, we can get an FM transmitter, stay under FCC regulations, and uh, we can put people in their cars and uh, keep the distance from each other. King Kemper says he's been a member of Piedmont Church since they opened about 12 years ago, and he didn't want to miss out on this creative service. And I think if most people's concerns are about, you know, social distancing, and this allowed us to still honor those requests and at the same time hear some songs and a worship service and a message and have a good Sunday. George Jones and his family didn't have anywhere to go this Sunday morning after their church closed its doors, so they decided to drive over. I think it's awesome. I think it's a great opportunity to get the kids out that have been cooped up in the house and come do as, as much of a live worship as we can. Barbie says this drive-in service could last for the next few weeks, but he's just glad they're still able to worship the best way they know how, together. So we got a bunch of, car, a bunch of space for cars to come and park and uh, hear, hear a word and uh, worship God and uh, you know kind of get out of the house and just have church as normal as we can. In Macon, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you so much for that story, Sarah. And Piedmont isn't the only church inviting people to drive into worship. Cynthia Reese, she sent us these photos of her church offering a drive-in service today. This is at First Baptist Church in Soperton. Now, if your church or place of worship is offering drive-in service or other creative ways to keep connected, we want to see your photos. Text them to us on the number on your screen. That number, it's 478-752-1309. And let us know your name and what's happening in your photos. So thank you so much for staying with us. We'll have weather right after this break.